Hello everyone and welcome to Phil Russian channel. In today's video we're gonna check the prices in a Russian grocery store after sanctions. By the way, don't forget to like this video. This way you will show me that this topic is interesting for you and it will inspire me to film more. I filmed my first grocery store video two months ago before all this started and I will leave the link for this video somewhere over here. After that, honestly saying, I haven't checked the prices because usually my husband does all the shopping. And today I came to the same supermarket where I filmed two months ago and I think it will be interesting to get to know how the prices changed within two months. Say hello! Hello! <laughs> this uh, grain is called buckwheat and this is the most famous grain in Russia and usually it disappears first. And as far as I know, in all big cities like Moscow and St. Petersburg, Grecia is completely disappeared, so people can find it. It's strange to see no buckwheat at all at this supermarket. I live in a small, I would say, village in the south of Russia, and you can see uh, Grecia is here. And let's check the I'm price. I'm really surprised because last time Grecia cost 158 rubles. Uh, it costs uh 158 russian and rubles. here grecia is 140 russian rubles this supermarket there is a rather big option of the different grains there is uh, pasta grecia rice and all kind of stuff last time i showed you coffee and tea and let's check coffee and tea options uh, today so last time I showed you this tea, Greenfield Earl Grey uh, Fantasy, it cost 85 rubles. With the discount it cost 85 uh, Russian rubles. Now it's uh, 110 rubles and it almost a uh, 30% increase of the price. Um, also I showed you in my last video this Ahmad Green Tea. Green Tea for 109 rubles. And now it's uh, 170 rubles. So also coffee, this one uh, last time cost 190 rubles, today is 197 and it's only 3% uh, uh, more. I don't think that this is a huge difference. As far as dairy products is very popular in Russia and people love them so much, we're gonna check the price for, for dairy. I remember uh, last time this milk, um, this is 3.2% uh, fat and it cost 85 rubles, today is 116 rubles and it almost 40% more. I told you in my last video that Russian people really love sour cream, you can eat it with borscht, you can have it with uh, any <laughs> Russian dish that we have. So I personally love this brand, uh, this is 20% fat, last time it cost 105 rubles and today is 141. Last time uh, I also checked this cottage cheese, 5% uh, fat. 78. I think it depends on brand and size. It cost 178 and today is 187 rubles. I also talked with the ladies who work in this supermarket and they told me that um, in this particular supermarket they have uh, the prices with the green tax. It's so-called uh, social price. It means that uh, for uh, some list of the goods, including like eggs and chicken and some uh, grains, the price won't be increased and it is under control. The first green price that I see is the price for cottage cheese, this one. Oh, not, not for this one, for the different one, but it <laughs> disappeared, there is no cottage cheese under this price, but anyway, it's 107 rubles, and in comparison with uh, other cottage cheap, uh, cheese, it's uh, rather cheap, you see 107, and here is like 187, 170, so much, much more. Another green tag that I see is a green tag for eggs, uh, 10 eggs, cost 80 rubles, and honestly saying it's even cheaper than last oh, time but it cost 86 
Uh, the only difference that I see in between uh, midsections last time and this time is uh, the choice. Last time it was uh, bigger, but probably today I'm filming this video on uh, Sunday and probably they just didn't have a supply. As far as the price uh, for chicken, last time it cost 369 Chicken filet, 1 kg cost 369 uh, rubles. I see one for 383, but this is not the dramatic change. I am honestly shocked seeing this number of Pepsi in the store, you know, uh, because Pepsi uh, stopped working in the Russian market <laughs> in all big cities. It disappeared, but look how much Pepsi we have here. And now let's check the prices for veggies because Russian people buy a lot of cabbage, carrots, potato and onion that we need for a lot of our dishes. So this is the onion, I would say kind of the necessity at the kitchen uh, for cooking. Onion is 36 rubles. And today it's 40. And again, uh, you can see this green uh, price tag that tell us about this is the social good. But honestly, I don't like the quality of this onion because it's kind of soft one. Yeah, it's really soft. It's carrot. In this particular store, uh, they just sell it by a few pieces. And I noticed that this is cheaper than it was last time. Last time it cost 52 rubles per kg. But now I saw that this is also a green tag for like uh, carrot 1 kg 45 uh, Russian rubles. Cabbage is 65 and rubles. Today is 70. Uh, this is potato. 52 rubles per kg. Today is 50 rubles, so it's a little bit less, but again, this is a green tag. I know that other bloggers show in their video the empty shelves with uh, sugar, salt, uh, flour, and things you know, like that. Right now, other section with the flour and sugar, and you know what's crazy? It's gone. There is no, almost no sugar here. So basically, here, if we take a look at the price tags, was sugar. I want to show you the shelf, particularly in this store. This is, uh, I would say, not big, but teeny tiny shell with sugar. But you can see we have enough of it. And again, this is a green uh, price tag with 80 rubles. You can have sugar by weight. And this is especially like a tea um, uh, sugar cubes. Uh, if we talk about flour, hey, it is so was a different uh, weight and again the flower has a green tag and cost 40 uh, another product that is a necessity nowadays is salt and let's check how the things going on uh, with the salt in this supermarket this is the variety of salt that they have the shelves are not empty at all and again for salt they have a green tag and it cost only 19 um, now I want to make a kind of the experiment because last time I showed you uh, what uh, I got, the number of food and how much I paid. This is our cake and today I decided to get the same food, the same kind of products and to check the final price. See the final price on the screen it's definitely more than last time together it costs us 1500 russian rubles or 20 dollars but meanwhile in dollars the price is even less because ruble lost its value what i honestly see in this store that prices definitely changed for some food some food got uh, more expensive but some food just stayed the same or even a little bit less i'm very happy that they have these green tags and this so-called uh, social price tag but this is honestly saying the first time i hear about these uh, social prices probably it's just about this place and about this uh, particular supermarket because my friends and again relatives from the big cities they didn't tell me that uh, in their places they have something uh, similar 
uh, for us this price change is not that dramatic but honestly saying I'm just walking in this supermarket and I feel sorry for uh, senior people for uh, the pensioners because their pension is very very low uh, according to um, our dollar rates uh, that we have nowadays because you know ruble is just crashed uh, their pension can be like a hundred dollars and with this uh, price increase it will be more and more uh, difficult for them to survive and I feel so sorry for that